What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another eFootball 2023 player pack review. Today we're looking at the Real Madrid epic players. There's a couple of nice players in this. I mean, Guti looks absolutely insane. We are going to be looking at his stats in a couple of minutes. And we also have Morientes and Cassius. Now, these guys max out. Cassius max out at a 98 overall. And then Morientes and Guti, depending on how you train them up, are usually a 95 or a 96, depending, as I said, on how you train them up. I think, obviously, I will show you the best way to train these guys up and i'm also going to show you an alternative that if you don't want to spin you want to skip this one or you don't have any coins i'm going to show you alternatives that you can buy with gp and players that are very very similar to these epic players for real madrid so we are going to start with uh, cassius who is obviously the goalkeeper here that we see and cassius is lads he's got insane stats i mean i'm not gonna lie right the b form and uh you you get that obviously he's got standard form there but the B form there with the B rating uh, is going to be huge because obviously he's going to be, you know, up with his player arrow more often than not. And that means that you are going to get Cassius at like a 99 overall when you've got a 100 team play style. And if you've got like individual player form arrow, uh, if you have missed my video on that, check it out, the play style. When they do have the form arrow up, lads, they get plus three to most of their big stats. So, for example, if Cassius was on plus form arrow here, Instead of him having goalkeeper awareness 81, it would go up to 84. So you don't even need to train that up. That is just when the form arrow is fully up. So obviously the higher the form arrow, the more chances of the form arrow being up, the better it is for your player. So we have a look at Cassius's base stats here. Obviously these players all have the team play style proficiency. Very nice base stats. The reflexes one is a big one. Obviously his height is probably the only thing you need to look at if you are like going to spin for Cassius because he is an insane uh, reflex keeper. He's able to like really stop shots, but all under the high ball, he is a little suspect to it uh, from what I've seen and what I've played with. So I definitely think that Cassius is somebody that you need to probably get used to rather than just him being an absolute dominant beast like Neuer or Can or Donnarumma. But we are going to show you an alternative here in a second and we are going to show you show him fully trained up when we do go over to eFootballDB.com. All right, so over on eFootballDB.com, we do have Cassius maxed out here. He's level 23, and yeah, I mean, he has got insane stats. Let's not let's not kid ourselves, right? He is he is an incredible player. He is one of the better keepers in the game. I think him and Czech are kind of good keepers that they've added this year, obviously to break up that meta of a black Neuer can. Uh, Donnarumma I still swear by Donnarumma I know that Courtois is kind of the favored player I will be doing a, a top 10 meta players quite soon a lot of people ask me for that you know the players that the, the division one guys and the pro guys are actually using um, but if you look at his individual stats I mean 92 reflexes and everything else is above 87 which is insane now I would say that if you are going to miss out on Cassius and you're not going to spin for him because you don't want to spend any coins I think AC Milan's Mike Mignan is a very good alternative. Now, the big big like concern here you have for him is his goalkeeper clearance, 79, right? I never worry about that, and I'll tell you why, right? Your keeper is either going to catch the ball or he's going to like react to it and put it out for a, either a deflection, which there's nothing you can do. It doesn't matter what goalkeeper you have, or else he's going to put it out for a corner or over the bar or out for a goal kick or whatever. He's either going to save it, concede a, free, concede a corner, or else he's going to parry it back out or miss it. Like they're the three options that you have. So the goalkeeper clearing and the catching, I never really focus too much about. The one that I always focus on here is goalkeeper reflexes, and I like the awareness to be above 80 as well. Reach isn't so important, depending on the tall, the height of uh, the player. Obviously, reach for Cassius is going to be more important because he's a little smaller, you know what I mean? He's a smaller player uh, height-wise, but, you know, my uh, Mignan doesn't really need to worry about that because he's fairly tall. And again, if you have the budget to go after Courtois or Oblak or any of the top keepers like Donnarumma, you don't need to worry about these things either. But this is a budget buy for 170,000 GP. You could do a lot worse. You could do a lot worse, completely do a lot worse actually, because he is a fantastic keeper. Now, moving back to the game, we do have Guti, who we're going to take a look at. Now, lads, I think Guti is going to be one of the best midfielders in the game after this update because trust me when you see his stats and we'll go over to eFootballDB.com in a second we will see his stats but the thing that sh that sh shines out to me about Guti is that he's a creative playmaker that can play CMF uh, or AMF 
but he's also got 42 levels that he could train up. So I always like a player that could train up a lot because it gives you the chance to be able to actually put your own stamp on him. And you can train Goody whatever way you want, right? He's got double touch, chip shot control, heel trick, a one touch pass, but then he's got pinpoint crossing, weighted pass, true passing, long range curler, acrobatic finishing. So he's kind of a mix of everything. He is kind of an all rounder. I definitely think you should make him an AMF. That was where I would play him. I think he comes into his own as an AMF. He is an unbelievable player on the ball. His dribbling is incredible. You'll see his stats in a minute. But yeah, I definitely think that Guti is is one to watch. We will have an alternative to him as well. That is quite interesting. It's a guy I've featured before. But here we have Guti. He is maxed out. And you can see the stats are insane. 83 speed, 85 acceleration, 80 offensive awareness. 81 finishing, he's got good place kicking and curl, ball control is amazing, low pass is amazing, lofted pass, kick and power, balance, stamina, he's got everything. Now the one thing that lets him down is he does not have unwavering form, so you will have to factor that in, but it shouldn't be an issue for these legend players, the epic players, because they do have B form. Now if you are, as again, as I repeat, if you are staying free to play, you're not spending any money on coins, you could go wrong, you couldn't go wrong with this guy, Nakunku, absolute insane player. And a lot of people are featuring him now in their squads as a backup because he is so good. He can play so many different positions. He can play any uh, attacking role, really, depending on how you want to employ him or deploy him. He's got very similar speed, better acceleration, finishing and offensive awareness, curl, ball control, dribbling, tight possession, all very similar, or if not better. And then you've also got 88 low passes, which is what you'll need as an attacking midfielder. You don't really need to worry too much about loft the pass. I know Gooties is very high, but as an AMF, you don't really need to worry too much about that. And then obviously he's got the balance, the stamina, the kick and power, very similar. Obviously Gooty is a little bit better there. So that is for 170,000 GP as well. If you have that money burning in your pocket, with the GP and you don't want to spin and then last but not least we have got Marientis and over on eFootballDB.com we'll stay on here 90 finishing 95 header 88 physical contact and kick of power 83 jump he is tall enough but he's not as tall obviously as the likes of Haaland or players like that so you will need to use those speeds and max him out as best as you possibly can he does have unwavering form, which is very interesting. And the thing I will say about Marientis, lads, right, is back on the game here. Marientis is one of these players that his stats don't look that incredible, but because he has got super sub, as you see here, you would be, you know, you would be doing well to bring him on. If you've got Haaland and Marientis on the bench and the two of them are up and you're one nil down in the second half, you bring these two boys on and you have that little tandem up front where you have Haaland and Marientis both coming on or either one. Uh, if you just want one of them and you bring Marientis or Haaland on, Marientis is just going to be like cross the ball in. A lot of people don't cross the ball in and it's very overpowered. You know, if you get it out on the wing and you cross the ball in, it is very overpowered, completely overpowered with V2.1 in terms of uh, score goals. So yeah, I do think that Marientis is very, very strong. Now, if you're looking for a bargain basement budget player, that's a, a bit of a mouthful, Mitrovic, who is banging goals for fun, uh, last season and again this year he's had a great start in the Premier League for Fulham he's got low speed low acceleration but he does match up pretty decently for Morientes and he's only 32,000 GP so if you are playing free to play and you want to have those kind of like trinity of stats where you've got the physical contact you've got the header and the finishing and the jump you've got four of them stats that you want to have very similar to Morientes maybe try him out and then Morientes will be a huge upgrade so that is it for me lads back again with another episode quite soon we do have that player pack to do for the player of the week as well but let me if you're enjoying these let me know if you're going to spin or skip i will talk to you later peace